Today's math strategy video is finding the volume of composite figures. So before we get started, let's make sure that we define what a composite shape or a composite figure is. So a composite shape is a figure that can be divided into two or more geometric shapes. So think back about how you found the area of composite shapes back in like third or fourth grade. So we're going to be doing something very similar to that. We're just going to be finding the volume of it. So we're going to do that same process of like breaking the figure apart into two different shapes. So let's look at our first example problem. It says Bethany has a raised garden bed. The diagram shows its measurements. All of the corners are right angles. If she fills the bed to the top with soil, how many cubic feet of soil will Bethany need? Okay, so this part's really important that it says all of these are right angles because that's going to, that's going to prove that, you know, these opposite sides um, would be the same. So if you remember back in third and fourth grade, we talked about if some um, two lines are parallel um, and they uh, come to a right angle, then they will be equal. So when I look at this figure, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna break it apart here. So I'm going to have one figure that's going to look like this, and then I'm gonna have another one that looks like this. So, and I'm gonna move these measurements up. So this is six feet. Just imagine that this is, um, it is two feet, the height. The height is two feet. And so that'll be the height for, ev for all of these, both this figure and this one. So the height is two feet, okay. So this would be six. Sorry, my drawing's not amazing. So this would also be six feet. So I've got a six by six. So this one I already know. I know the length is six feet. I know the width is six feet. This one would be pretty easy to find. Now remember, we have a formula for that. We know that, you know, if if this is a six by six, um, it, ha it has to be two layers because that's the height. So we have a six by six by two, so that is 36 times two, and 36 times two is 72. So, feet cubed, don't let me forget that. Okay, so this next figure, we know that the height is two, this down here, this is six. Now, this only gives me this portion right here but this extends all the way back. So don't forget that if I just did a two by six by four, I'd only be finding the volume of this right here. I've got to, I got to make sure I get this as well. So if we think back and remember, I'm going to find a line that is parallel to this. So it would be this six over here. So that means that this line right here also has to be six feet. So six plus four, 10 feet. So this would be 10 feet by two. So I have my length is 10 feet. I have the width, which is six feet. So I have a two by 10 by six. That is 120 feet squared. Now, don't forget to, uh, because it wants to know how many cubic feet of sort of she need in all. So we have 72, 120 plus 72, uh, 19, 197 feet. Cute. This would be the total amount that she would need. Let's look at one other problem. Okay, now this one just gives us a composite shape, um, and we're going to think about all the different ways that we could cut this apart. Um, so, or break it apart rather. So, what I could do is I could just cut them here. So, if I did that, I already have, um, I know that this is two is my like width here. So I already have my six. This would be two, this would be three. So I have a six by two by three. And th this one would also be the same. So if this is six, 
this also must be six meters. So I have a six by two by three. They're the same. So that would be 36 meters cubed, 36 meters cubed. Now to find this, I, I've got S. This is like a variable for a missing amount. Now I do know that this is three and this is three. These two sides are three. So now I do know that this whole thing is nine that these are three. So three plus some number plus three is going to equal nine. Well, three plus three plus three equals nine. So this also must be three. So if this is a three by three, because I don't really need that. I just need this and this. It's a two. Two, because this is what this would end up looking like. So that would be two. A three by three by two. It's two, that would be 18 um, meters cubed. So we would have 36 by 36 by 18. 12, that's, this is 90. 90 meters cubed. That's the first way to break it apart. Now, you can break it apart another way. Let's say that we wanted to break it apart across. So I have nine, I have two, I know that this is three, so from here to here would be three. This is the other three. So I have a three by nine. This marker doesn't want to work. By two. Uh, three times nine is 27, and 27 by two. 54, 54 meters cubed. Now, I would just need to find these. So this is a three by, this has to be three by two. So a three by three by two, that's 18. This one would also be a three by three by two. which is the 18, so 18 plus 18, 54 meters, 16, that's 90, 90 meters. So I get the exact same answer no matter how I break these apart. So just know that um, I, I like the other way. I thought it was a little easier. Um, just, but whichever way, you just know that usually whenever you have, you will have one number that will stay constant. And that was this. This was turned out to be our width. So that was a constant. So just know that one number is going to be the same for all of those. Um, that is the end of today's math strategy video.